What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be doing a tire modification on the Axial SCX24 indoor crawler build. So if you're not familiar with the channel, consider subscribing. I'm doing a playlist on this little Jeep. We're almost at the very end of the build. Um, I will be giving away this build at the very end of the 15 videos, um, so consider subscribing. All the links for the giveaway are in the description and I will talk about it a little bit later in the video. So for today's modification, um, the stock tires that come with the SCX24, they're, uh, they're pretty grippy. Uh, out of the box, they're pretty cool. Um, I've definitely upgraded from the tires in the past, but for today's video, I wanted to show you a kind of a budget build, kind of a upgrade that we can do to these tires. It's really simple, really easy, and really efficient. So these are the Trail Grappler MTs. They're Nittos, and so they come stock, I believe on the Jeeps and on the C10s. I think it might be a little bit different for the Deadbolt. I'm not too sure, let me know. But uh, they're pretty they're pretty grippy, but we can improve on that grip. So there's two different ways that we can uh, improve the grip that I've seen. One is making little slices in the tire to create more flex when the tire kind of goes over an obstacle. That's kind of more of a permanent solution. I kind of want to go with the WD-40 route where you kind of spray WD-40 in the tires and they uh, absorb the oil or whatever, the lubricant, and it makes the tire a little bit more flexible and more uh, grippy. And that's kind of more of a short-term temporary thing because it does dry out eventually. So it kind of, if you want to change your mind in the future, it's not such a permanent decision like slicing the tires. So before we uh, get into working on the truck, let's go and see how the grip is before we do the mod and then we'll compare it to afterwards. Alrighty, so here we are. So I have my tray, what I use to prep all my videos, I have it here. It's kind of slippery, but it's, it's possible. And then I have an ice chest and here is the Jeep with all the accessories and everything. It does have some rear weight, so hopefully that helps with some more grip. But um, we're gonna crawl up here, see how it performs. And then we'll go do the WD-40 uh, spray, whatever. And then we'll see how it performs afterwards and we'll compare the two. All right, so I'm gonna call it there. There was a couple good tries, almost made it to the top, but we're not all the way over. So let's go ahead and spray on some WD-40 and see how that works. So I wanted to remind you guys, if you're interested in winning this Axial SCX24 Jeep Wrangler indoor build, um, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at Miguel Cortez Video, comment on a video in this build playlist, any video, and remember to like the video and that's pretty much it. It'll be free, I'll ship it out to you anywhere in the lower 48 uh, states. So yeah, good luck. Okay, so here I have a towel just to catch all the WD-40 that doesn't land on the tires. Um, so WD-40, I guess it, it, it's called a multi-use product because it doesn't really have a name for anything. You can use it for a lot of things. I normally use it to stop squeaks. You can remove it to remove and protect. Um, like if you have a bolt that's on really, really tight, you stick some on there and it'll loosen up the bolt. Uh, free sticky mechanisms, drives out moisture. It's it's literally an all-in-one thing. WD-40 got his name because this is the 40th time they tried to make it, so that's kind of a little brief history behind it. But anyways, so I have a little brush. Um, I've heard ways where you can kind of put all the wheels and tires in a little baggie and then kind of spray the WD-40 in there and just let it sit for like an hour. Um, I, you can do that, but apparently it warps the tires and the wheels, so I kind of don't want to do that. So I'm simply just going to grab it and I'm going to get some WD-40 at the throttle. Spray a little bit on, on each tire. Alright, so that's all there. There's quite a bit on these uh, tires, actually. I'm gonna run it again. Drive. I'm just gonna hit a little bit more.
All right, so now um, you can see the tires look a little bit more shiny because you can see that WD-40 on there. You can see like it's shiny here and not on this side. Tell. There you go, there's some more. So I'm gonna let this sit for probably like what? I'll, I'll let it sit for 20 minutes, we'll set a timer, and then I'll come back to it, and then we'll check it out. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. The WD-40 is still pretty prevalent on the tires, but we're gonna dry them off with my hand. This little towel right here. Look at that. You see it? You see that shine on there? It wasn't that shine before. And so now let's uh, take it to that tray again and see how it performed. Okay, so now we're back and let's see how this guy performs now. Oh, 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 oh man. There just went the roof rack. Oh God, no. So the roof crack just broke right now. So that kind of sucks. Pull that off. Oh no. That was so cool. The grip definitely worked. There we go. Oh, just beating this. Oh, there goes the freaking snorkel. Oh man. <laughs> There it is, it made it all the way up. Oh, another hit. <laughs> all right, let's get from a different angle. <laughs> Just beating this thing, oh man. If I do it really quick. If I go about it slowly. Yeah, I just need to do it slowly. And so there it is. The grip definitely was improved by just adding a couple little sprays of WD-40. Anyway, right, that's pretty much it, man. Um, if you have a can of WD-40 laying around, uh, definitely consider WD-40 your uh, tires because that definitely improved the grip on the Jeep. Unfortunately, uh, the scale accessories kind of broke apart so i'm gonna have to figure that one out but yeah i will see you guys in the next video peace out